Yo, it's Will, and uh, welcome to Will and his channel. If you ask a wise photographer what to spend $1,000 on, a new lens or a new camera body, he'll tell you to buy a plane ticket. I have never left the country, and I've never really went on a trip with my family, short of driving from San Diego to LA to go to Disneyland. During the past couple of years with COVID raging, I haven't really seen much of them at all. About a week before me and my girlfriend went on this trip, her brother was tragically killed in a motorcycle accident that wasn't his fault. We had been avoiding seeing him and his family during the COVID-19 pandemic because he had a newborn. Before we even started to the airport, this trip felt like it was already starting to carry a weight and have a feeling of urgency. After leaving the Tijuana airport, landing in Morelia, and driving an hour down a dark highway in Mexico, we arrived in Morelia, Guanajuato, the place where my girlfriend grew up and where a large part of her family lives. My first day in the city was exciting and confusing. My girlfriend took me to the local church near the epicenter of Mor Leon, right on the edge of the bustling plaza. My brother-in-law drove me around on his motorcycle as he showed me the town. The city seems small at first, until you get to the top of the hill overlooking Uriangato, the city that surrounds Morleon. Morleon is a massive sprawl of concrete, brick, and dirt. Morleon is known for its textiles and clothing. They say there's one moped for every two people that live in this city. People from all over Mexico flock to Morleon, with empty vans to fill with clothes bought in bulk. The clothes are then distributed and sold all over Mexico. Families in Morleon either import or make the textiles, and work together to cut, sew, print, and sell clothing en masse. The strip in Morleon is a miles-long stretch of road filled with street food, mopeds, and clothing. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. In Mexican culture, familia is lo mejor. I felt like in my first 24 hours of being in Morelon, I had seen more family than I had in the entire year and a half of the pandemic prior. People weren't wearing masks or social distancing. It felt alien to the harsh lockdowns of California. Anxiety subsided for nostalgia. It was a warm feeling, meeting tios, tias, abuelas, primos, viejos amigos. It was something I hadn't felt in a long time. The pandemic, if anything, had spread out my friends and family, and unknowingly along with it had taken some of my artistic passion. Photography was something that I had discovered at the beginning of the pandemic. Watching Willem Verbeek videos, going out and buying my first dust Conica to take pictures of friends now long far away. Slowly during the pandemic, I drifted away from my family, and my art. I felt immediately that Mexico was going to help me right this ship, through a mixture of friends, family, food, and most importantly, Mescal. So yeah, this is part one of probably a three-part series I'm going to be doing on my trip to Mexico that I took about six-ish months ago. Kind of just a bit of a retrospective, you know, that I've had about the time that I spent there, feelings afterwards, feeling before, and such. Uh, I just want to say shouts out to all the people that have subscribed to the channel recently. Um, we've kind of had a boom, I believe, since I created that uh, Mr. Girl video, which was pretty awesome. Uh, so thanks for everybody for subscribing. And if you haven't done so already, you should do so now. And if you like the video, give it a like. Uh, leave a comment down below. I love talking to everybody in the comments. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. <laughs>